on YouTube and Facebook. Book of Om Tua, the Book of Gates, Chapter 2, The Anti-Chamber of the Tuat. In the first division of the Book of Gates of the Tuat, according to the sarcophagus of Seti I, we see the horizon of the West, or the mountain of the West, divided into two parts. In the boat of the sun is supposed to sail between them and to enter by this passage into the Tua. On the right hand is fixed a jackal-headed standard, and on each side of it kneels a bearded god. One god is called Tat, and is a personification of the region which is beyond the day. And on the other and represented the funeral mountain. Re represented and represents the funeral mountain. On the left hand is a ram-headed standard, and on each side of it also kneels a bearded guy. As before, one is called Pat and the other Set Set. The ram's head species of ram that was the symbol of the god Kanemu. This animal disappeared from Egypt before the 17th dynasty, but the tradition of him remained. In the middle of the scene sails the boat of the sun. The god is symbol Paragraph below the above text is particularly a duplicate of 
of it, but it contains no mentions of either the jackal-headed or the rain-headed scepter, and it is unnecessary to give it here. On the right hand of the bow stand twelve gods who are called gods of the mountain, and the text referring to them reads, These gods have come consumeth men and gods and all cattle and all reptiles which are created by this great God. This great God hath decreed the plans or designs thereof having made them to spring up in the earth which he created. On the left of the boat stand twelve gods who are called gods of Set Amentet and the text referring to them reads, The hidden place, these are those who have consumed the men and the gods and all the cattle and all the reptiles which this great God hath created. This great God hath decreed plants for them after he made him them spring up in the land which he created. That is to say, in the Amentet which he made.